up beautiful people it's so in here welcome back to my channel today we're playing ranked as Habwa ranked duel one versus one against the Scotty pretty much top tier both of the characters but I have a good feeling about this as far as I'm concerned Habwa is still very much um SS or whatever the highest tier in duel Scotty is pretty strong as well we're gonna ward up over here just to make sure that he does not want to invade. Make sure he's there. Uh, because he can definitely steal my blue. He's nervous because I warded, but it's fine, man. I'm not gonna invade. So, we, yeah, we're picking a Bracer. Typical stuff. Um, having a couple potions here. Gonna pop one here. Cleared faster than he did. That was unexpected. We're gonna poke him a little bit here. Yeah. Back away, buddy. Oh, he wasted his clear. That was not the play. He's obviously angry. I missed the clear in one minion, but it's fine. We're still gonna out clear him quite significantly. We're gonna go for a smalls. Let me change that real quick. I think I should have gone for mids here, though. Yeah, but it's fine. Uh, the next wave, at least we were fast and nothing risky is happening. Next time, I'm, I should go for the mids. Clear another safe distance. We can bunch up minions without taking a significant amount of damage, so we're just gonna do that instead. He does not utilize Calder properly, but it's fine. I'm running him a little bit. I'm gonna bag, grab my speed, grab tier 1 boots and a couple pots. I think you went for his smalls, right? So hopefully we're not going to miss a whole lot of XP. We're level 5 now. That's nice. Don't want to waste more mana on this. Maybe you should have wasted more mana on this, to be honest. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. I haven't missed a single minion, so that's, that was perfect. And in 15, the red buff spawning. So that should be good. I think he grabbed the left mids and yeah. Gonna bunch up the minions over here. That's my two. That's my ult. That's his bracer. Bracer is a bad pickup. Should not have gone bracer, my man. Goodbye. I mean, he could have gone Aegis, but that will just what that would just do is that I will have to keep in mind that I need to knock him up before I ult. So that's all the Aegis can do for him. And Bracer, well, since he has Bracer, I might as well go Divine. And that'll be a poor pickup for him. I can clear the wave, but it might be a little bit risky. We're better off just back for the full Bancrofts. Grab a couple more pots because we grabbed the red buff. We're gonna have a sustain problem. But we're gonna have a better damage right now. I missed two minions off of that wave, so it's fine. He cleared like a madman, so I guess he missed two as well, so we're pretty even. As in, I am very much ahead. He's nowhere to be found. Okay, just getting mo poke. Ooh, he's speedy. Look at this. We out traded him. Although not significantly enough, but we have Bancrofts, so he should be dead here. Yep. That's Habwa. That's that's how it goes. Kind of back for full boots here. Uh, we're going for Shoes of Focus. Shoes of Focus are very strong in duel. You should always go Shoes of Focus. I mean, the new power boots do give life steal, and sustain is pretty good in duel as well, but. Just the ability to spam those uh, skills a little bit more is very, very powerful in duel. He's not around, so we're gonna wait a little bit. He missed a minion, that's fine. He's not gonna miss another one. Yeah, I don't think. Just pop. Oh, didn't reach with that, huh? He didn't reach with anything either, but Calder is very annoyingly poking me out. You have to keep in mind that we don't have a lot of HP as Habwa, so... Just heal up with the Bancrofts. Like I said, he's not utilizing Calder properly. Let's poke him out a little bit. 
He's very much spooked, as he should be, because he has half of his HP. And I can delete that very fast. As a ward, he goes for the smalls right in front of me. Are you sure, my man? We got one. We got two. Want to come in? Well, you don't want to come in, I'll just ult you. Yeah, we knocked him up, so he didn't brace her. He still braced her, but it was too late. I think the damage from my one didn't register on his bracer, so didn't brace her enough to survive there. Goes pretty well so far. He's not surrendering, which is good. I mean, you might have a lot better chances late game. And you should not forget that this is Scotty. Even though we are very much ahead, a couple mistakes from my part in duel in this season can make this game even very, very fast. Grab the red buff here. Looks like he's doing the left mids. Judging by the sound of it, yeah. Oh, well, Calder got the brunt of it. <laughs> Need to watch out for his ult uh, while we don't have ours. He should actually be ulting aggressively all the time, but he doesn't do. Pop him a little bit more, there's a poke. Yeah, what he should be doing, he should be ulting me on cooldown just to force me to ult somewhere he actually might have even picked up Aegis and just do that just ult me pop Aegis uh, I ult into his Aegis nothing happens he wins the fight but he doesn't do that so we're just roaming free here yeah a lot of poke he has to back now otherwise I'm gonna kill him next wave oh he's going for the speed looks like we can chase that Oh yeah, that's mine. Oh, come on. That's unforge. I missed that too, huh? Let's play dumb a little bit. We're so much ahead. Nah, I really want to kill him. <laughs> I got him. That was so not worth it. He got so much more after that kill, but at least that was fun. Look at him almost going even with me because I did that. That's that's extremely unfortunate, but like, I don't want him to surrender too fast, so we're just gonna mess around a little bit here. Oh, the red buff. Why are you doing my red buff? You're forcing me out of my wave, you hooligan. You cannot secure that. We got some defense now. We're not dealing as much damage anymore. Oh, he's speedy. Not speedy enough. Oh, I missed that. If I hit that, he would have been dead. Let's check if that is up. It is. Fine. Oh, he dumped his whole kit. Hello, Calder. What you doing? Forcing him out of the uh, XP and gold. Just come in. Oh, he's salty. <laughs> he's very much salty. Don't be salty, just come in. More poke. Yeah, you need to back, man. Like, uh, I'm not Sam to do. I'm not gonna dive your tower because you're low HP again. <laughs> I already did the Sam to do today. So that's uh, more than enough for one game. He's not gonna miss a whole lot of these waves, uh, unfortunately, because towers don't hurt anymore, because minions are very stupidly tanky nowadays in duels, so he missed none of that. But he is salty, and that works in my favor. Oh, that missed. Gonna back off a little bit. Just joking. We're gonna circle relic. We're gonna back. Oh, are you gonna actually tank that? He wants me. He wants me good. He's gonna scratch my tower a little bit, but I don't think he can take it. No, he's not even here to do that. Okay, so that's just a couple scratches in my tower. Not a big deal. Red's coming up. We don't have uh, free wars anymore, so we should be 
looking out. Looks like he is nowhere to be found. Alrighty then. He's still nowhere to be found. Oh, hello. Why are you wasting your calder like this? Just ulting at the start of it, popping my thorns, popping my bracer. He cannot fight this. But I don't think he knows that. Yeah, we had to spend all the relics, but he also spent all of his relics. He uh, got level 12 and thought that he have two relics now and can do a lot of shit. That didn't work out well for him. I'm pretty sure minions are able to take the tower themselves. He has full Genjis now, so we're building into penetration immediately. We grabbed tier 1 Soul Reaver and we also gonna pop into a lot of uh, words. I just really love words on the dual map. I don't know why high-end duelers don't use them. Sound can only get you so far and I just don't like my objective stolen, especially when I'm ahead. So we're gonna be putting one word on the Demon King and one word deep into his jungle on the way to the Demon King. So I will have full control of what he's doing and that will allow me to control the game further on. He's doing a smalls. Hello. We're gonna ult immediately because his relics are down. That's his ults. He's running despite his ults. Yeah, and now on our way back, we ward over here, just to make sure he's not coming. That was not a perfect ward, it should have been a little lower here. And since we don't have a, don't need a ward on the Demon King, we just can ward over here. I have Bancross, but I'm gonna get, take a lot of damage from that. Oh, can I not do that? No, I can do that, it's fine. Yeah, he's running, so we're not gonna just stay in back, we're just gonna straight up run. His 3 is just the same speed up as my carpet, so we should be safe here. I think he's still chasing, so we're gonna play it safe. Yeah, he was chasing. Uh, I think he's gonna grab a tower for that. No, he didn't stay for the tower, okay. So more scratches on my tower, not a big deal. This is down. Yeah, I wasn't there. So far, so good. We're doing pretty nice. Our objective damage is not the best, so we need... Aw, the pauses. So we need to force him out of the objective before we can take it. If he keeps clearing wave, it might be a little bit cumbersome for me. But it should be fine. Um, looks like he's building into beat stick, which is a good pickup. I have Bracer, I have Bancrofts, which I really much rely on. So, beat stick will do a lot for him here. But if it's something else, that'll be a big misplay. Engage. Here he comes. Like I said, we need to force him before we engage on the objective. Oh, we reach with that. He has shell. That's both of his relics and just my thorns. So, we still have a minion. A victory minion over here allowing me to do double damage to the objective, which is pretty nice. Fortunately, we just have 10 seconds, so we won't be making that on time. Ooh, he ulted. That's bad. We're in trouble here. That's my bracer. I'm gonna kill Calder here. Oh, I'm missing three here is a bad choice. Keep poking him out. Keep poking him out. He's still chasing, but the landscape doesn't allow him to. Good stuff. Wait, he has Crusher. Oh, that was so bad. Imagine him having Beatstick here. He would have definitely killed me. That was a big no-no. My Bracer wouldn't give me enough HP. I wouldn't be able to heal while he was chasing me down. And considering he's ADC, he would have probably won this game if he went Beatstick here. So, a very quick summary. Are we building into uh, Cookie Cutter ma Mage's build? It's Bancrofts into Vushu's of Focus, Breastplate of Valor against the Physical Gods. We're building into penetration. Penetration options in uh, Smite for mages are very weird right now. So I thought building into Obsidian might be a good pickup. We're building into Soul Reaver for that percentage damage because we spam a lot of skills as Habwa. He's building into pretty much cookie cutter ADC ability based uh, stuff. He should have picked a bitch stick that would have uh, allowed him to win the game. 
because he would have won the last fight and as an, as an ADC he would have pushed through my tower, Phoenix and probably most of my Titan and I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. But instead he opted for Crusher and decided to lose the game. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the Hubble video, the duel. That's Masters MMR duel ranked for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. It helps the YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people. If you like the video, like the video, it does the same. If you wanna ask me a question, leave a comment and respond to every single comment on my channel. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.